Hi family, welcome back to Enjoy Your Space. If you are here for the first time, my name is Nyathon Hetmai. On this video, I'm going to share with you effective organizers that you can use to organize your kitchen cabinets in a way that saves you time and mental burden by remembering where everything is. You will also see the full process and the final transformation of each kitchen cabinet. So let's jump into the video. My mission here is to utilize all the vertical and horizontal space. To achieve this, I'm going to use this storage shelf to specifically utilize the vertical space. So here, I'm just going to remove everything out. It's already clean and lined, so I'm just going to organize. If you are a new visitor here, welcome. On this channel, I post each week cleaning and organizing videos that motivate family to create or maintain clean and organized space they can enjoy and relax in. If this sounds like something you're interested in, consider subscribing and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a new video every week. Before you go to sleep Keep up, I shine You'll surely get burned if you reach out and touch My mind is a battle, I'm trying to so the next cabinet to organize is a bath the sink cabinet. Our objective here is to categorize light items together and find and then store them together. So to organize, first I'm using this plastic bag dispenser to organize our plastic bag and hang it on the door of the below the sink which I'll show you shortly. So I'm using this cool clear container that I bought from my daughter back then to organize her things in. So I'm going to use this to store sponge and this Airwix air freshener. Also I'm using this clear container to organize all my all-purpose cleaners into one and just put them back in. I'm also using this old plastic container that I had that I'm not using so I thought why not use it to hold our trash bags. And lastly, I'm using the pasta sauce jar that I recycle. So I'm using two of these jars to store our dishwasher soap. 
to organize under the same cabinet, I'm using this two-tier shelf organizer for storing dish soaps and cleaning disposable pads. And if you have been following me for a while now, you know my magic ingredient, which is vinegar. So here as well under the cabinet, I'm storing um, all our vinegar. Also, I'm using this woven basket for storing dirty equipment. To organize all our ziplock, wrap, and cutting boards, here I'm using these two over the door cabinet organizer. I'm using this another woven basket for storing a uh, dish towel in the junk cabinet. This cabinet is basically a cabinet where I put in all other items that don't have categories. <laughs> To organize my pots and skillet, I store the pots we normally use in here in a way that is easy to move and put back without moving other pots. To organize our skillets, I'm using this pot rack organizer. This is amazing, guys. It's the calm before the storm. Things aren't as they were before. You best start bracing. To organize the breakfast cabinet, this is my favorite of all the cabinets I have organized. Here I'm using this storage um, shelf on the top shelf and on the middle shelf I'm using this Lazy Susan and at the bottom shelf I'm using another Lazy Susan and then I'm using this cool organizer to organize um, our tea bags.
if you have not yet make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss out my next week video so next week is going to be the final video on the kitchen cleaning and organization series that i started a few months ago so this video is going to be basically showing everything and it's going to be an update on how the organization system has been going and also uh, showing you what worked and what didn't